Blessings, everyone. So taking a moment to find your seat. Getting comfortable. Getting a little stretches. Grounding into the physical body. If you're in the Colorado Springs or Manitou Springs area right now, it's very overcast. It's very kappa. In Ayurveda, that is the combination of earth and water. It can feel a little heavy. So we'll work today in balancing that energy. Sitting up nice and tall, I recommend some Hide underneath of the sits bones, take some of the compression out of the organs, and some of the rounding out of the low back. Starting to tap into the breath, into the heartbeat. If you feel a little ungrounded, you can f place the hand on the heart or the neck or the wrist to feel the, the pulse. beginning to connect with your expansive nature. An expanded consciousness is not one that is running away from the things that it encompasses. Instead, it is an expanded consciousness is something that has room for all feelings and thoughts and emotions, belief systems, and can offer yourself more love whenever anything comes up. That is a true expanded consciousness. So coming to notice any part of yourself that was below the surface before. Maybe experiencing some edgy emotions or thoughts that you didn't quite realize were there. I like to imagine each emotion and each thought as an offering that I place on the altar of my consciousness. That I have the courage to experience this feeling or this thought completely and with enthusiasm. I have the bravery to embody this emotion and to trust that it's not going to burn me or hurt me. That by leaning into this discomfort, I'm allowing every part of me to feel seen, to feel acknowledged, to feel honored. Can you smile into any, any of the tensions arising inside your being? Can you lift those tensions up and offer them? Saying, I will experience this emotion with enthusiasm as an offering that I lift to the divine. I lift as a way of remembering that I am divine love and form. As a way of healing all beings that have ever felt what you are feeling right now. Lifting it out of the darkness, out of the shadow, out of the unconscious, and bringing it to the light of the soul. So 
that we can remember that being divine love and form doesn't mean that we don't experience negative emotions. It means that we hold them even tighter. We honor ourselves diligently with each and every thought and breath, action and experience. Each and every feeling and emotion is sacred. And we can lift it up in our expanding consciousness, wrap our arms around it. permeating it with the love of the divine that we are. This is not some esoteric idea or some lofty meditation or shamanic journey. This is simply adopting an attitude of love towards yourself. Being willing to honor each moment, each experience you have as a medicine. In ceremony in an indigenous culture, medicine is offered to the earth and to creator before it is taken or before it is consumed. <clears throat> so in this moment, and in all moments, can we take the medicine of this moment? Can we offer it to the divine, to the earth, to every being that has ever felt what we are feeling? And then can we cherish it and hold it close? Can we allow it to become a part of us? Allow it to be embodied. without reservation. We are not fighting or struggling against it. We are not trying to change it. We are allowing it to be fully anchored in our experience and to shine the love and the light of our soul. Taking a moment to find something that is edgy or challenging for you right now. Something that you perhaps have a lot of stories about, whether it's about yourself, about another, or about the world. a moment to really feel it. Feel the judgments, the self-limiting belief systems, the feelings and emotions, whatever is arising when you think about this edgy thing, this challenging aspect of your life. Imagine slowly lifting it up like the inner child that it is, 
out of your shadow, out of your subconscious or unconscious. And begin to lift it up as an offering. Honoring it as a sacred medicine. Like that scene from Lion King where they lift Simba up for all of the kingdom, the animal kingdom to see. Lift that part of you up into the light to be seen by all aspects of your being. To be seen by your divinity. By your tender heart. By your wise mind. And by your beautiful body. By your infinitely loving soul. Allow this aspect of you, whether it's an external circumstance or an internal one, peeling away the old stories, the old attachments, the old belief systems and judgments, and allowing this aspect of your being to be fully acknowledged and seen as this offering, an offering to every being that has felt this same challenge, an offering to your consciousness as a medicine that allows you to grow and become even healthier, that allows you to see that you are divine love and form, even if the medicine tastes bitter, it is still exactly what your being is calling out for, even if it's painful, even if it causes grief or anxiety, depression, anger. Lift it out of the muck of judgment, of shame, of guilt, and allow all to shine its love upon that part of you. Feeling the heart of the heart of the creator, heart of the heart of the earth, weaving their love, their acceptance, their gratitude through this challenging aspect of yourself. And begin to hold it tight, giving it a hug, allowing your expanded consciousness to hold this offering to cherish it, to let it know that it is seen and honored. Feeling these feelings embodied into your being, these feelings of acceptance, love, gratitude, compassion, and wisdom around this medicine. Feeling this medicine dissolving into light, being embodied in your being, embodied in your consciousness, in the altar of your mind, the altar of your heart, the altar of your body.
and just feel. Taking three to four slow, slow breaths to open the eye. Bring the hands over the heart. I honor all of the powerful work that you are doing for the highest love of all beings. And as I honor the work that I am doing and all beings are doing in service of the highest love of all beings. I honor this sacred medicine that we are together and we are one. Namaste. Thank you all so much for being here, dear ones, and praying and playing together. I hope you can find these moments as an offering for the highest love of all, especially to your own being. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.